Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Live at Four. Weather is our top story this Friday afternoon. Let's that, turn, over, let's yeah. turn over to Blaze Keller. Maybe I'll just, sorry. <laughs> sorry, trying to get, uh, trying to beat you to the punch here. We continue to watch uh, a severe thunderstorm warning for now parts of Dane County. Uh, that goes until 415. That's our current one uh, that's blinking right there. But out ahead of that for parts of Dane County as well as Dodge and Jefferson County, still keeping the tornado threat, a severe thunderstorm warning. This goes until 445. Now, I want to, before I put a tracker, take you down to about the Marshall area, just outside of Pierceville, really riding along 94 there into Milwaukee. That's where we're seeing this area of rotation. Unfortunately, it's coming at uh, a cost of kind of being in, a, in an area where we don't really get perfect rotation picture, that purple there. Uh, but I imagine the tightest area of rotation is somewhere in this area, just south of Marshall. Uh, that would be, uh, I believe, 73 possibly. Uh, north of 94. This is going to continue to track its way eastward. I'm going to put a tracker on this so folks in the path can make sure that they are possibly uh, needing to go to their safe space should a tornado warning become issued. So we're going to put this out. We're going to take it all the way into the Watertown area. So folks in Marshall is pretty much on our doorsteps. Waterloo by 408, um, by Shields by 421, and Grelton by 427. Again, this is a severe thunderstorm warning, mainly for 60 mile per hour wind gusts, but they have also um, added into that the possibility of a tornado with a little bit of rotation. So again, before we send you back to news that tightest area of rotation, there is not a tornado warning just south of Marshall. Latest scan continues to keep it between Marshall and 94 there along 73. I mean, continue to keep uh, in talks with the National Weather Service and if a tornado warning becomes issued or they see anything, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Blaze, thanks so much. And make sure to stay up to date on the weather this weekend by downloading our first warn forecast weather app. As soon as there is a chance of severe weather in the area, we'll push it to the palm of your hand. You can download it for free in your phone's app store. Just search WISC weather. New at four, the woman accused of poisoning her husband in 2022 has pleaded no contest to lesser charges in the case. 51-year-old Amanda Chapin was originally charged with attempted first-degree intentional homicide. During a plea hearing today, she was found guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety. Chapin was charged after her then husband Gary Chapin was taken to a hospital and later fell into a coma. Blood work showed he had barbiturates in his system. She is scheduled to be sentenced on July 25th. Meanwhile, the woman convicted of killing a Middleton car salesman is now sentenced to life in prison. She could be released with extended supervision in 25 years. The judge's sentence comes after a jury found 23-year-old Ja'Kyra Anderson guilty of first-degree intentional homicide. Anderson shot and killed 34-year-old Kalsu Samba at the dealership. It was over a dispute about a leased vehicle. The jury deliberated for four hours across three days. A grand marsh woman will face trial for the death of a man in January. Online court records show 27-year-old Crystal Toomer pleaded not guilty to charges of being party to a crime of arson and mutilating a corpse. Prosecutors allege Toomer's ex-boyfriend, 47-year-old Donald Dahlberg, shot and killed 57-year-old Floyd Burdick. This was after Burdick drove to pick up Toomer because of abuse concerns between her and Dahlberg. Toomer told investigators Dahlberg hid Burdick's body in a snowbank before setting it and Burdick's car on fire. A pretrial conference in this case is scheduled for August 26th. And we're learning more today about the man who died in a house fire in Mazomani yesterday. 75-year-old Gary Engberg died in his home Thursday morning, according to his close friends and neighbors. Merrill Hubbard visited the property to learn more about what Gary was like. I'm standing by what remains of a house that went up in flames Thursday morning. One man by the name of Gary Enberg was pronounced dead at the scene after Dane County Medical Examiner's Office found his body in this home. Now one of his neighbors and good friends walked me through the scene and told me more about Gary's life and passions. Gary was an avid fisherman, sportsman, and hunter. His neighbors and friends told me Gary spent the remainder of his life in this home by the water. When I was there, I got in touch with some of his other friends that could not meet me in person because they were out fishing themselves, but they were able to tell me more about what Gary was like. You've known him for about 30 years. Tell me a little bit about the kind of friend that Gary was. Well, 
He was a loyal friend. We would talk almost every day. He was passionate about hockey. He was passionate about fishing and uh, dogs. I guess that was his three biggest things. He loved dogs. He had a good laugh. We are still waiting to hear back about the cause of this house fire. Reporting in Mazomini, I'm Meryl Hubbard, News 3 Now. Meryl, thank you. We're still waiting on an update on the fate of former UW Lacrosse Chancellor Joe Gao's tenured position. That decision is now in the hands of five of his peers. Yesterday, Gao presented his case and called on his witness, interim chancellor Betsy Morgan. The hearing ended with closing statements from both sides. Gao claims that he and his wife's appearances in pornography have not affected the overall image of the university. University. UWL officials are making the opposite case. Now the panel will decide whether or not Gal will keep his tenured position at UWL as a faculty member. Next, after the break, legal experts say it is the first time the Supreme Court has ruled in favor of regulation of guns. How the court upholding this law continues to protect victims of domestic violence from Live at Four returns. Now, don't you worry. I'm going to take real good care of your windows. You need the experts at Feldco. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your summer with two-for-one windows and no interest until 2026. Plus, we'll get it done Feldco fast so you can enjoy your new windows all summer long. Two-for-one windows won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for feldco Baraboo Furniture and Mattress is now open. Over a million dollars of quality name brands on display, including Flex Steel, Best, England, Spring Air, Ashley, Amish Furniture, and much more. All in stock and on sale. With an acre of quality name brand furniture in our beautiful new showroom, you're sure to find just what you're looking for. Get special free financing. All credit welcome. Hurry in today to Baraboo Furniture and Mattress, where your satisfaction is our guarantee. At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find bicycle store quality electric e-bikes from Trek, Electra, Felt, Giant, and more. Trek offers the best-selling e-bike in America, Trek Verve Plus, under $2,500. At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find fat e-bikes, mountain e-bikes, road e-bikes, bike path e-bikes, and more. Free services included. The place to shop for your new e-bike is Machinery Row Bicycles, the most beautiful bicycle store in the world. In the courtroom, we see Donald Trump for who he is. He's been convicted of 34 felonies, found liable for sexual assault, and he committed financial fraud. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's been working, lowering health care costs and making big corporations pay their fair share. This election is between a convicted criminal who's only out for himself and a president who's fighting for your family. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. All month long on Buzz Into Madison, we are celebrating our hardworking Wisconsin dairy farmers. And next, Buzz Into Madison is going to Larson Acres. Right here in Evansville, Sandy and her family have an amazing story. All that and more on the next Buzz Into Madison. The Spring Green Art Fair is coming June 29th and 30th to downtown Spring Green. Hundreds of artists from around the nation will be there both days. Don't miss the fun and excitement June 29th and 30th in Spring Green. Hi, I'm Fiona Rataj with the League of Women Voters of Dane County. Here are three things to know. Make sure you are registered to vote at your current address. You can check or register at myvote.wi.gov. If you do not have a Wisconsin driver's license or state ID, you can register to vote with your municipal clerk by completing the registration form on my vote. Absentee ballots must be requested. Three things to know, part of News 3 Now's Three Cares Community Impact. Welcome back. Today on Capitol Hill, the Supreme Court upholds a gun control law intended to protect victims of domestic violence. Natalie Brand shares more from the Supreme Court. It's the decision gun safety advocates had hoped for when they rallied in front of the Supreme Court during November's oral arguments. We know that lives are on the line. 
In an eight to one ruling, the justices upheld a federal law that prohibits people under domestic violence restraining orders from having firearms. This is the first time we've seen this Supreme Court in a long time actually rule in favor of regulation of guns. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote, the law uses common sense and applies only after a judge determines that an individual poses a credible threat of physical violence. The court ruling against the challenge brought by 23-year-old Zaki Rahimi of Texas, indicted for possessing a firearm while having a restraining order against him. This case stemmed from the high court's Bruin decision two years ago, which expanded gun rights, saying history and tradition should determine whether laws regulating firearms are constitutional. While history has a role to play in constitutional analysis, it has to be calibrated um, you know, against the uh, the issues of present day. Emma Brown is the executive director of the Giffords Law Center to prevent gun violence. It's important to remember that this case, all it does is preserve the status quo. And the status quo in this country is a tremendously dangerous country for women and for domestic violence. Violence survivors. Legal experts expect Friday's opinion will provide more clarity for lower courts as they decide other Second Amendment cases. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the Supreme Court. Justice Clarence Thomas, who was the author of the 2022 decision expanding gun rights, was the lone dissenter in this ruling. All right, let's back over to meteorologist Blaze Keller for a look at those storms. Blaze? That's right. We continue to track a severe thunderstorm warning now just for parts of Dodge and Jefferson County and really extreme eastern parts of Dane County. That previous severe thunderstorm warning just for Dane County, that's been allowed to expire. This new one, uh, that goes until 445 for mainly wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour along with about an inch in diameter hail. We're also tracking a little bit of rotation with this storm. So folks in the path of this shield, Grelton, Watertown, Shields by 422, Grelton by 425, Brant, Cork Park by 430, and Watertown by 432. You need to be uh, potentially ready to move to your safe space should the National Weather Service issue a tornado warning. That area of rotation that's still really trying to get itself organized. There's not a lot of rotation in the atmosphere, which is good, uh, but this storm is trying to feed on what little there is. And right when 94 kind of starts to bend its way towards Lake Mills, just north of that, really on 94, south of Waterloo, that's where we're seeing that area of organized rotation. And I kind of use that in quotation marks. You got the green towards the radar in Sullivan, the red away. It's very broad, uh, but it's just enough to have that tornado possible tag, maybe a little inflow there just north of 94. But that is our only severe thunderstorm warning right now. Again, that goes until 445. In the meantime, we're continuing to track other showers and thunderstorms mainly uh, north of Dane County. You can see all the reds, the oranges, indicating those heavier rain showers and thunderstorms. In addition to the severe weather hazards, the strong winds, the hail potential, the isolated tornado threat, we're also watching a flooding threat as well, not only throughout the rest of your evening, but throughout Saturday as well. That's why there is a flood watch for nearly all of the News 3 Now coverage area, except for Walworth County, until 7 o'clock on Saturday. That slight risk edging its way into kind of the Fond du Lac area, if you will, this evening. There's that isolated tornado threat for your Friday. Saturday, almost all, if not all, of the News 3 coverage area underneath that slight risk. That tornado threat as well for your Saturday in the green. But strong winds are really going to take over as we go further into your Saturday afternoon. So we're going to continue to watch the chance for an isolated severe thunderstorm through the rest of this evening and into the early overnight hours. We wake up Saturday with some showers and thunderstorms. We dry out and then we watch as this cold front moves in out of Minnesota and Iowa. This is going to bring those strong winds. You're seeing those reds, those dark reds, even those pinks. And by the time we go into the evening hour Saturday by about 10, maybe 11, we're done with it, but it is going to be a rough couple of hours. They're probably starting around 3, 4 o'clock at the earliest and continuing, as I said, through about 10, 30, 11. And we could see an additional 2 to maybe 5 inches of estimated rain by the time we head into the afternoon. And those dew points are in the 70s, so there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere for not only these storm spews this evening, but into your Friday night and your Saturday as well. In fact, 
if the atmosphere were to completely rain out right now, we'd measure about two inches of just solid water. That's how moist we are here in southern Wisconsin. So your plan are taking you into those early morning hours on your Saturday. Again, we're going to track that shower and thunderstorm chance through the rest of your evening. We will keep you guys updated and break in when necessary. But there was a look at your 10 day forecast after our alert day Saturday, a nice break just briefly Sunday before we flirt with the 90s by next Tuesday. All right, Blaze, thank you. Next week, News 3 Now will once again partner with Babies and Beyond for the Community Baby Shower. It's a partnership that's been able to help hundreds of families over the years by providing necessities for expecting mothers and babies. Some items that are needed this year are diapers, clothes, and other critical supplies. The event begins on Monday, June 24th, and runs all next week. For a list of drop-off sites, just head to this story at channel3000.com. In the 608 this weekend, you have the opportunity to experience the incredible sound of a forte pianist at the Rock County Historical Society. Yeah, and Josh Ryder is in Janesville with a preview of those sights and sounds. <music> the Lincoln Talman Museum with an opportunity for you to hear some pretty unique sounds here in the Rock County area. Tim Moz is with the Rock County Historical Society. Tim, good to see you. You too. Good. Thanks for coming on down. You know, you guys are super excited because a lot of times we talk about the unique sights here inside the Lincoln Talman home, and now we get to hear and actually hear some incredible sounds. Right, right, right. We've been trying to bring the full museum experience to life here. This is just one more aspect of how the Talmans would have lived listening to music very similar to what we played to, um, tomorrow evening and on Sunday. What are people going to be able to expect inside here? Because this is an incredible opportunity. Yeah, so it's, what we do is we kind of take the furniture out, we set up chairs and rows for folks to come in. Um, we'll have cocktails before if people choose to. So just kind of relax, sit back and enjoy. When we did this last year, the audience was absolutely captivated. You could have heard a pin drop. And the reason Daniel is back is because of his performance last year. Somebody got up and told me, I'll pay you to bring him back next year. So here we are, and this is just absolutely wonderful to have him back in here. Yeah, we're lucky to have Daniel here with us. Daniel, it's nice to meet you, and thanks so much for joining us here on News 3. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. So you are sitting right here in front of a forte piano. What makes this piano so unique? Well, this is the piano as Mozart and Beethoven knew it. This is the piano they played on and that they composed for. There are many musical and technical reasons as to why it's different, but the most important thing is that it's a much more intimate listening experience because the 2000 seat concert hall of today didn't exist back then it was intended to be played in smaller spaces and because of that it has a more intimate compelling sound so our viewers at home are getting to listen here of some of your works you know what can people expect with your music well, they can expect to hear this music in an entirely new way. I think that classical music has a little bit of a stigma of being unapproachable or overly intellectual, and I want to convey that that really could not be further from the truth. going to hear the music of Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven played on the instrument they would have known, bringing to life their very real human experiences and feelings that they had. And this kind of brings you back a little bit, too. This is such a unique opportunity. Uh, yeah, it allows you to uh, sort of take a stroll back through history, experience things in that way, but these are really timeless things that these composers were communicating. And so we get to look back through history, but we get to experience it today. And now is your opportunity to be able to experience that this weekend down here again at the Lincoln Tallman home. If you'd like to learn more about tickets, they range from 30 to $50 and still plenty of chance to get that. We have all of it up on channel3000.com. In Janesville, I'm Josh Breider, News 3 Now. What a gift that guy has. Sounds beautiful. Yeah, it yes. does.
Well, when we come back, who says you're too old to try new things and live life to the fullest? Certainly not the octogenarians that journalist Mo Rocca talked to recently. I'll chat with him about his new book when Live at Four returns. Teeth are amazing. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we have new financing options to help you get a new smile today, not someday. Scan the QR code or call to learn more. Go ahead and smile. It's coming. Predicted to be one of the hottest summers ever. And you can't enjoy anything when your house is too hot, especially when you get that big utility bill. So what do you do? You stop the hot air from coming in and your cool air from leaking out. With USA Premium Foam in your walls, your old hot and humid house really can be made comfortable. Call now, and when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. Stop sweating and start saving. USA Insulation. GA, the advanced form of dry age-related macular degeneration can irreversibly damage your vision. It can progress faster than you think. When GA threatens your eyes, take a stand. Slow GA with Cyfovri. Cyfovri is an eye injection that was proven to slow damaging lesion growth over two years with increasing effect over time. It's the only FDA-approved treatment to slow GA in as few as six doses per year. Don't take Cyfovri if you have an infection or active swelling in or around your eye that may include pain and redness. Cyfovri can cause serious side effects such as eye infection and retinal detachments, severe inflammation of vessels in the retina which may result in severe vision loss, wet AMD, eye inflammation, and an increase in eye pressure. Most common side effects are eye discomfort, wet AMD, small specks floating in vision, and blood in the white of the eye. Tell your doctor right away if you have any side effects. Every moment counts. Act now to slow GA with Cyfovri. Ask your retina specialist about Cyfovri. I was raised by my wonderful grandparents who took care of me when my mother was struggling with addiction. Later, when Nana got frail, I was privileged to help take care of her. I believe it's our duty to honor our elders. So I've worked hard in the Senate to protect Medicare and nursing home care from those who've tried relentlessly to cut benefits. The least we can do is help those who've helped us. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, our Snap Secure Dental Implants will help you eat and speak with confidence at a price that's affordable. So if you think you can't afford dental implants, think again. Go ahead and smile. Well, do you ever say to yourself, I'm too old to try this? Turns out, you never are. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't feel that way all the time. The new book, <laughs> Rock to Genarians, Late in Life, Debuts, Comebacks, and Triumphs, gives a heartfelt perspective on living life to the fullest. It's written by CBS Sunday Morning correspondent Mo Rocca. And earlier, I talked to Mo about the book and his inspiration. Okay, uh, Mo, we know that an, uh, an octogenarian is somebody who is 80 to 89 years old. So what, what is a rockdegenarian? So a rockdegenarian, Susan, is somebody who does not accept the conventional wisdom that the last third of your life is some time for winding things down, clocking out, going gently into that good night. Absolutely not. These are people, like the people that I profile on CBS Sunday Morning often, frankly, my favorites, who are not looking backwards, who don't really care about what other people think of them, because I think that's what happens when you get older and are just willing to go for it. And if I may, this Sunday on CBS Sunday Morning, I'm profiling actress June Squibb, who at 94 is headlining her first movie. And this movie called Thelma, 
I'm telling you, is a total delight. And she said her work has never been better because early in life she was too worried about pleasing other people. Now she just goes for it. No, but this kind of fearlessness, I think, is, is, is uh, uh, and on many different levels, is typical of people of advanced age. I mean, in the book, my co-author and I profile Harlan Sanders, Colonel Sanders, who was 66 when his business, his small business in Corbin, Kentucky, collapsed. So he had to get in a car, living off of Social Security, which was $105 a month at that time, and drive town to town with two pressure cookers and a bucket of, of his secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices and cook for people and little greasy spoons, hoping to hook them on the recipe. Within eight years, he was the face of a Kentucky Fried Empire of 800 outlets worldwide. I mean, that's the spirit. Yeah, the, and the rest is history. And I never knew that story until I saw it in your book. It's unbelievable. Somebody like Estelle Getty of Golden Girls fame, one of my favorite actors, says she did not get her start young. No, she did not. And by law, if you write a book like this, you have to include at least one golden girl. I mean, <laughs> otherwise, you'd, I'd be locked up. She, Estelle Getty had spent her life pursuing acting, taking tiny parts in whatever she could get cast in, in plays in New York. She got married at 23, she raised her two sons, so she had lived this full life. When her sons went off to college, she finally thought, I'm gonna pursue this really with even more vigor. And she eventually was cast in a play that went to Broadway and made her network television debut at the age of 62. And it just seemed like it just seemed right that she should live the life that she had lived and then be rewarded this way at the end with arguably one of the funniest characters on a sitcom in the last 40 years, mm -hmm. as Sophia, the mother on The Golden Girls. Uh, I've heard you say that you prefer uh, to interview people that are more seasoned. Uh, why is that? Because I think that, well, older people generally have better stories. They're less eager to please, so they're more themselves. They're more comfortable in their skin. There's a kind of grace that sets in. They're uncluttered. They know what they believe, um, and so they can act more decisively. They also look at endings as beginnings, right? They don't, they, they, they don't just, uh, uh, the best ones, don't just give up. I'm thinking of the story, which is in the book of Sam and Betsy Farber, who had retired uh, and were, went to the south of France. They, were, they, they had resources, but Betsy was trying to make an apple tart and she, with the peeler, she couldn't do it because of her arthritis. So she and her husband sat down and they started to develop a kind of tool that could work for people with arthritis. And so thus was born the OXO Good Grips Empire. Mm. That came from this challenge that she had. They they revolutionized what's called universal design. So that's that's a, a story about loss into gain in a sense. Looking at endings as beginnings, being resourceful that way. It's it's an absolutely wonderful read. Will you be doing your book tour in Madison? Have you ever been to Madison? So I must confess that I had not been to Madison, Susan, until last summer, and I went for July 4th, and I can't imagine a July 4th anywhere else. I mean, we were, were lucky that we know somebody who had a small boat, so we went out onto one of the lakes and we watched the fireworks from there, and it just felt like this is what July 4th was created for, other, other than freedom from Br British colonial rule. <laughs> it was created so that you could watch fireworks from a boat in a lake in Madison. Oh, that's so wonderful. Well, please come back, and this very seasoned anchor will welcome you here to the station. Everyone would love to meet you in person. Congratulations. Best of luck on the book. And these stories air. Thank you, a, a big uh, segment on this airs this Sunday on CBS Sunday Morning. We're looking forward to it. Can't wait. Thank you so much, Mo. Great to talk to you. Great talking to you. Isn't that the nicest story about Madison? It is. Being on the boat on the 4th of July, better to do that than in January. You exactly. know what I mean? When it's Siberia. Exactly. It was the quintessential Midwest summer yeah. story. So. The book is available everywhere and on CBS Sunday morning. There'll be a big segment on it this Sunday. Looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah. Well, next on Live at 4, former President Trump reportedly called Milwaukee a horrible city. But is it really what the numbers say about Milwaukee's crime when Live at 4 returns? Experience fun for all ages at Oregon Wisconsin Summerfest, June 21st through 23rd at Kaiser Park. With pickleball, softball, bags and volleyball tournaments, fireworks, carnival, live entertainment, delicious food and parade. See you there. 
Tens of millions of roofs across America are failing, wearing out decades early and leaking, oftentimes without you knowing about it, causing tremendous damage. Here's how you know you have a problem with your roof. Black streaking, your roof looks rough, or granules shedding off into your gutters or showing up in your driveway. Your roof is wearing out too fast and it's going to cost you a bundle. RoofMatch makes your roof like new by strengthening and rejuvenating it. So give us a call and we'll give you a free assessment to see if your roof qualifies. Hi, I'm Steve Linden now, owner of Crazy Lenny's E-Bikes. We are the e-bike experts. We've been doing this for well over a decade and we'll use that expertise to get you into the right e-bike. We have the right bike here for everyone and our knowledgeable staff will help select the right bike for you. So if you're looking for an e-bike, give us a call or stop on by because nobody e-bikes like we bikes. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For Imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For Imprint for certain. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. Trust your home with RG Heating and AC. All month long on Buzzed Into Madison, we are celebrating our hard-working Wisconsin dairy farmers. And next, Buzzed Into Madison is going to Larson Acres. Right here in Evansville, Sandy and her family have an amazing story. All that and more on the next Buzzed Into Madison. It's time for the Madison Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns. Don't miss your chance to tour 32 newly constructed homes filled with the newest trends and products. Go to MadisonParadeOfHomes.com and purchase your tickets today. Experience fun for all ages at Oregon Wisconsin Summerfest, June 21st through 23rd at Kaiser Park. With pickleball, softball, bags and volleyball tournaments, fireworks, carnival, live entertainment, delicious food and parade. See you there. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Check out this video. Oh, oh. some ducks and their ducklings <laughs> over at Tinney Park. Look at that. They're all following Mama eagerly there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're tracking severe weather for Saturday. That's the weather words. Let's go down to meteorologist Blaze Keller for more on that, please. That's right. And, you know, we have that alert day not only for Saturday, but for this evening as well. And we're continuing to track that severe thunderstorm that began in Dane County and is now pushed more into Jefferson County. In fact, that's where the severe thunderstorm warning is really right now. Uh, again, we're continuing to monitor not only that 60 mile per hour wind threat, but also that hail size and that threat for a possible tornado as well. Latest scan continues to show that this cell is really trying to capitalize on a little bit of rotation. We're seeing maybe a brief hook trying to get going here, uh, but let's put out a tracker and see who's in the path of this storm. Grelton by 433, Watertown Municipal Airport, I'm assuming by 436, Johnson Creek by 437, Concord by 452, and Mapleton by 456. And again, this severe thunderstorm warning does go until 515. So folks, if you were in the path of the storm, you need to be prepared for possibly heading into your safe space that may be your basement if uh, the National Weather Service pushes a tornado warning. And latest scan continues to show that the area of tightest rotation is just uh, around the Milford area beginning to push into Johnson Creek. So folks in the Johnson Creek area, this is only about uh, four miles away. This is a wall of wind possibly rotating and we've already seen uh, photos from viewers in the Sun Prairie area of fairly large trees being knocked down by this particular cell. Now I'm going to take it back to the radar for folks who maybe are wondering what else is going on here quickly. Uh, this is our only severe thunderstorm warning in the area, but we are continuing to monitor showers and thunderstorms mainly north of Dane County. We're going to monitor this severe thunderstorm warning moving through Jefferson County and bring you the latest updates throughout the rest of this half hour.
Blaze, thank you. And turning to Milwaukee now, an unborn child was killed and two teenagers injured after an armed carjacking and police shooting yesterday. Just before 3 p.m., officers tried stopping a stolen SUV that had six teenagers inside between the ages of 15 and 18. The driver then led police on a chase, driving into a construction site and getting blocked by a cement truck. Officers demanded the suspects get out of the car. Instead, the driver backed up into a squad car when one officer fired at the vehicle, hitting two suspects. This should never happen. This is unacceptable, and everyone who hears this should be appalled and angered. The two people shot were teenagers, an 18-year-old female and 17-year-old male. The 18-year-old was pregnant. Her unborn child did not survive that shooting. She's currently in the hospital with life-threatening injuries. The 17-year-old also has serious injuries. And these crimes come just after some choice words by former President Trump. He reportedly called Milwaukee a horrible city in a closed-door meeting with Republicans. But some of his allies say Trump was talking about crime in the city of Milwaukee. Reporter Michelle Renee Quinn breaks down Milwaukee crime data to provide some context. Michelle? The Milwaukee Police Department says so far this year, overall crime in the city is less than it was last year. These statistics are from quarter one data, which is January 1st through March 31st. In the first quarter of 2024, homicides decreased by 39% compared to quarter one last year. Non-fatal shootings are down 27% and total violent crime dropped 8%. Additional homicides have occurred since the start of the second quarter, but they're still down by about 25%. Quarter one crime is down overall from peak pandemic years 2020 and 2021. Police and the mayor credit community engagement and outreach, but say guns are still the biggest problem. Michelle Renee, thank you. And as the Republican National Convention is just around the corner in Milwaukee, safety remains at the top of mind for those in attendance. Political reporter Will Keneally is here with more on what the footprint might look like. Will? Well, that's right. The U.S. Secret Service held a news conference this morning to announce security plans that will be in place around the Pfizer Forum. Now, we'll close down roughly a one to two block perimeter around the Bucks Arena for foot traffic. That's that red blotch that you see on your screen there. And another larger perimeter around the city due to cars or four cars. The Secret Service is also preparing for the possibility of some protests. The shared goal is for everyone to be able to express their views lawfully while ensuring a secure environment for delegates, convention attendees, and the general public. We are also intentional about creating a plan that minimizes disruptions to the community as much as possible. We know that security for an event of this size will have an impact. Now, the plan includes two designated protest zones outside of the RNC's hard perimeter there and will include a speaker stand and a parade route. Now, the Republican National Convention will be July 15th through the 18th. Will, thank you. Potentially rainy weather the next couple days means it might be a good idea to curl up and watch some TV this weekend. There we go. Get comfortable. Will Loper has the lowdown on what to stream when Live at 4 returns. It's going to be another sizzling hot summer. Don't burn up your money on high energy bills. Get new energy efficient windows from Champ. We have saved 25 to 30% on our energy bill since installing the windows, which blew my mind. Stay cool and save 35% off new Champion windows. Plus, get an extra $100 off every window. The more you buy, the more you save. Save 35% off your new Champion windows and $100 off every window you buy. Call 888 for Champion or schedule your free in home estimate online today. Imagine having a Medicare Advantage plan that can help cover costs for dental services or even groceries. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is offering special benefits called Essential Extras, available for Medicare Advantage plan members. If you're new to Medicare, have Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible to enroll today. Unsure if you're eligible? Our licensed insurance agents can help. Just call the number on your screen today. Medicare Advantage plans cover everything in original Medicare Parts A and B while offering coverage for additional benefits. With Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plans, you could get no-cost essential extras you might not expect. These plans may include allowances for dental, vision, hearing, assistive devices, or even money for healthy groceries. That's not all, though. You could also get an allowance to help pay for utility costs like gas, electric, water, or sewer. It can even be used towards internet and cellular providers. 
Explore 2024 Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plans with essential extras in your zip code by calling today. If you're new to Medicare, have Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible. Essential extras could even include transportation to plan approved destinations. But you won't get a plan with additional benefits automatically. You have to call to see if you're eligible to enroll. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is proud to offer these special no-cost Medicare Advantage plan benefits that help provide comfort and convenience to make everyday life easier. Don't miss out. Call Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield today to explore 2024 Medicare Advantage plans with essential extras. If you're new to Medicare, on Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible. Call 800-694-1143. 800-694-1143. That's 800-694-1143. New in five, a former Badger athlete tragically dies in a house fire. We remember the life of Gary Engberg and the legacy he leaves behind. Alert day conditions continue not only for your Friday, but into Saturday as well. With heavy rain in the forecast, flooding also a concern. Your full forecast at five. And ahead at six, former President Trump reportedly called Milwaukee a, quote, horrible city, but is it really? News 3 Now breaks down the latest crime data to reveal the true state of Milwaukee. That's tonight at six. A mixed trading day to end the work week on Wall Street. The Dow Industrial closed up 15 points. The Nasdaq dropped 32. And the S&P was down 8. Well, guess what? It's Friday! Friday. Whoop, whoop. And that <laughs> means it's time to take a look at everything hitting streaming this weekend. Will Loper has it all in today's Loper Report. The Targaryen who sits the Iron Throne is not just a king or a queen. Of the Return to the land of Westeros with a new season of House of the Dragon, streaming on Max. The enemy usurped my throne. We're going to King's Landing. The show, set 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones, finds its characters battling for the throne with dragons. I don't think his death was an accident. Stay out of it. If you're in the mood for action, check out Trigger Warning, newly streaming on Netflix. <laughs> Jessica Alba plays a special forces commando going up against some bad guys in her hometown. But you always made us feel like everything was going to be all right. <laughs> and celebrate the life and work of recently passed Donald Sutherland with some of his films, including Ordinary People, streaming on Max. I was crazy that day. We were going to our son's funeral. And you were worried about what I wore on my feet. Clute on Tubi. The police have given me a list of names. I'd like to ask you about them. And of course, The Hunger Games, streaming on AMC+. Hope. 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 It is the only thing stronger than fear. For Live at Four, I'm Will Loper. It'd be great to see some of those to remember the great Donald Sutherland. Definitely. Yeah. What a great actor. Well, coming up, I step into the witty and wacky world of Dr. Seuss being brought to life in Verona. Find out how a big local cast is bringing the Seussical the Musical to the stage this weekend. Take real good care of your windows. You need the experts at Feldco. Right now at Feldco, get two windows for the price of one. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so much. From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> Goldberg's! Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today... Today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to, to Delicious! delicious. Yeah. 
Missing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including First Choice Dental for Best Dental Practice and Best Orthodontic Practice. Vote for First Choice Dental on madisonmagazine.com. Looking to buy or sell? Call Tommy Vaness Realty, First Weber's number one team dedicated to making your real estate dreams a reality. At Tommy Van S Realty, we understand that buying or selling a home is more than just a transaction. It's about finding the perfect match for your lifestyle. Trust Tommy Van S Realty for all of your real estate needs. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Van S. Right now at hy V, get Tide laundry detergent for just $9.97 with the digital coupon. That's right, get Tide for just $9.97, plus get a $0.10 cent fuel saver. Digital coupons help you tackle your laundry for less and pack your pantry with more. Just clip to load coupons to your hy V Perks card. You'll find more than 100 digital coupons every week, like this Tide coupon for $3, making Tide just $9.97. Save with digital coupons when you shop in-store or online at hy V. Introducing Badgerscape Design and Landscape, your trusted full-service landscape company in the greater Madison area. We offer expert design, installation, and maintenance services. Visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com to schedule a consultation today. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Well, if you're looking for a fun outing for the whole family this weekend, then next, how about a trip to Whoville? Mm -hmm. Verona Area Community Theater's summer show, Susical the Musical, opens this weekend. A cast of 75 local performers will bring all the classic stories of Dr. Seuss to life on stage. All the things you can think, all the things you can think, if you're willing to try. So Susa Cold Musical is a musical that basically encapsulates a lot of Dr. Seuss's stories. It has Horton Hears a Who is kind of the main storyline that you're going to get, but you're also going to get, of course, the cat in the hat and all the crazy, mischievous wonderings that happen with uh, Thing 1 and Thing 2 as well. Um, and there's Gertrude McFuzz and Maisie LeBird and the Sour Kangaroo and the Wickersham Brothers. It's all kind of like a mismatch of maybe 20 of his stories that go into one. On a ship to the big pit, or to Think a beautiful shrub with a cherry on top. You don't need an excuse. All the things you can think when you think about Seuss. In this first song, it's sort of um, introducing the show to the audience. It's not really part of the story, but it's just all of the characters coming on stage, introducing themselves. Think of an elephant up in a tree. Think of a person too tiny to see. Think of a bird with a one feather tail. Gertrude McFuzz, she's a bird, and she is a little bit different than the rest of the birds. She feels like she's not as pretty as the other birds. She's very insecure, and the thing that she's most insecure about is her tiny one feathered tail. Um, and she thinks that nobody notices her. Everyone can see themselves in each of these characters. Um, it's bright, it's playful, but at the core of it, these characters are feeling human emotions. And I'm essentially guiding this child through this entire story. So I'm bringing this story to life by bringing the entire cast on stage for a dance number right off the start of the bat. An unusual story will soon be unfurled of an elephant trying to save a small world and a boy from that world who has things. Just like you. Just think from the planet of Blue. And the smallest of small to the jungle of Newell. And the largest of all. He's thinking and thinking and thinking.
people should come to see this show because it will take you back to your childhood. And we have been practicing for like a month. just so much fun there's so much energy it's so colorful everyone I think growing up has at least heard of Dr. Seuss who has seen the book Seussical sounds like it's a it's like a kid's show but many of the life lessons that are taught in those books are still relevant today this is a show that is for everyone Wow, it looks great. Break a leg, everybody. Seussical the Musical opens tonight. It runs through Sunday and then next weekend as well, June 27th through the 29th at Badger Ridge Middle School Performing Arts Center in Verona. All of the shows are at 7.30 p.m. except for a 2 p.m. matinee on Sunday, uh, Saturday, June 23rd and Saturday, June 29th. You can buy tickets at the door or online at vact.org. Meteorologist Blaze Keller tracking those storms still, Blaze. That's right. We continue to track a severe thunderstorm warning moving through Jefferson County, beginning to move its way just north of Johnson Creek, really over Ebenezer. And the worst of it, I would say, is south of Watertown. That goes until 515 this evening, mainly for 60 mile per hour wind gusts. I'm not seeing a whole lot of hail, and there is still that threat for a tornado possible as this storm is trying to ride the little bit of rotation uh, as it kind of moves its way off of a warm front. So here is who is in the path of this storm uh, again by um, uh, Oconomowoc by 509 Mapleton by 510 and then that continues to really push out of the uh, Jefferson County area by about 515 if you will. So we're going to continue to watch this storm and I, I show you the wind tracker because again out of all the threats while the 60 mile per hour wind gusts are most likely up near Ebenezer, this storm is still trying to get a little hook going. So if there's any broad rotation, it's going to be just to the east of Johnson Creek. Again, continuing to really ride along 94. So Concord, Helenville, you are in the path of that broad rotation. But this is our only severe thunderstorm warning right now. That warm front is just off to our north, mainly sitting north of Dane County. The good news is out of all of this, there's not a lot of upper air rotation. These storms are not really able to sustain themselves other than that one. And especially once they get off of this warm front, there's not a whole lot going for them. So uh, that is some good news that we're going to continue to track these storms as we go throughout the rest of this evening. Now earlier, as that storm was just north of the Dane County Airport, showing a very good area of rotation. Devin captured this. You can kind of see the really clear picture of that storm, that little area of rotation, the base of that storm right there. You can send any weather photos, damage, or any beautiful weather photos for that matter by scanning that QR code. So we do have that alert day for the rest of your Friday into Saturday as well, mainly for those strong wind gusts and flooding flood watch for all of our counties except for Walworth until seven o'clock on your Saturday. There's that slight risk for your Friday and there's that slight risk encompassing nearly all of the forecast area, if not all of us for your Saturday. Uh, future precip would show anywhere between two to five inches of rain possible by Sunday afternoon. So over the next 12 hours, we're going to continue Continue to track isolated showers and thunderstorms and again some of those could be severe as we've already seen this evening and we'll break in when necessary before we send you to break here's a look at your 10 day forecast it's going to be a very nice end to the weekend upper 80s or upper 70s rather with less humidity Medicare and Medicaid, iCare's dual eligible special needs plans offer an $1,800 annual allowance for eligible groceries and more. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for you and your health. If your windows are leaky and drafty, it's possible they weren't installed properly. Many installers lack proper training, and shoddy installation leaves your home vulnerable to extreme weather. At Next Door and Window, we're reinventing window installation. Our approach ensures your windows are sealed tight and energy efficient. And your windows and doors will be installed by certified experts who treat your home as if it was their own. When you demand tomorrow's comfort, Next delivers. 
Visit nextwindow.com to learn more. Let's do this. Introducing Chevy's best lineup of SUVs ever. The rugged, always ready trailblazer. The first ever Traverse Z71. And the Chevy Trax, starting at $21,495. When it's your time to shine, Chevy's got you. Get 1.9% financing on select popular 2024 Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Heavy rain and severe weather, we're tracking it all in your forecast at five. And a former Badger athlete dies in a house fire. We remember the life of Gary Engberg next on News 3 Now at 5. Start your evening with News 3 Now at 6, moving forward, uncovering the stories and getting to the heart of events and issues that matter here. And when bad weather is on the way, we warn you first. News 3 Now at 6, moving forward, weeknights. Well, take a look at this. A long lost pet is found with a new blended family. This is Diesel the donkey when he went missing on a hike with his owner in California five years ago. And after only catching a brief glimpse of him on a trail camera, they really feared the worst, not knowing if he could survive on his own. But most recently, the most unexpected thing happened. A man out hiking spotted a group of elk grazing in the mountains. But wait, is that a donkey? <laughs> yes, it is. Turns out the lost donkey, Diesel, made himself a new blended family. Happily that their burly burro is living his best life. They have no plans to try and recapture him. Good for him. We'll be right back. Experience fun for all ages at Oregon Wisconsin Summerfest, June 21st through 23rd at Kaiser Park. With pickleball, softball, bags and volleyball tournaments, fireworks, carnival, live entertainment, delicious food and parade. See you there. Baraboo Furniture and Mattress is now open. Over a million dollars of quality name brands on display, including Flex Steel, Best, England, Spring Air, Ashley, Amish Furniture, and much more. All in stock and on sale. With an acre of quality name brand furniture in our beautiful new showroom, you're sure to find just what you're looking for. Get special free financing. All credit welcome. Hurry in today to Baraboo Furniture and Mattress, where your satisfaction is our guarantee. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. So we're a really busy family of six and moving into a new house, and Empire made it really easy. They brought samples to our house, quality products, and insulation on our schedule. And we're really happy with everything. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today, get an 11% rebate on your bathroom remodel. Menards carries a wide variety of Delta tubs and showers sure to fit your lifestyle. They're designed with durability in mind. This low-maintenance high crop shower is on sale for $599.99 after rebate. Finish your bathroom upgrade with a new Delta faucet. The convenience of the Lampard pull-down faucet makes cleanup easy. Plus, its elegant design is sure to impress. Now $149.96 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. We've been everywhere. We've coated patios, pool decks, basements, hospitals, warehouses, walkways, man caves, churches, schools, airports, hotels, and garages. If it's concrete, TSR will coat it. We're looking for 200 homeowners this month interested in getting new landscape borders. Our cutting edge materials and installation process ensures your borders will not fade, discolor, or disconnect and will look beautiful for years to come. All covered by our extensive lifetime warranty. Visit the website or call the number for your new borders today. Experience fun for all ages at Oregon Wisconsin Summerfest, June 21st through 23rd at Kaiser Park. With pickleball, softball, bags and volleyball tournaments, fireworks, carnival, live entertainment, delicious food and parade. See you there. And that wraps up Live at 4 for the work week. Armand is in the newsroom with what to expect in our coverage moving forward. Armand? Up Monday on Live at 4, Will Loper is back with a look at the new hit movies taking the box office by storm. And next at 5, preparations for next Thursday's first presidential debate continue. What we should expect from the current and former president. Thanks for watching Live at 4. We hope to see you right back here on Monday. Meanwhile, News Through Now at 5 starts right now.